My name's Mark Milner. I'm a lecturer in carpentry and joinery here at North Kent College. Uh, my previous experience, I've worked for joinery companies locally in Kent and South East London, and I also worked for a couple of years for a stair manufacturing company in Toronto, Canada. We have, we have a completely dedicated building here. We have our cl own classroom upstairs and a, a bench workshop upstairs where our year ones learn. And downstairs we have two large workshops where our year twos work and also a machine shop where all our timber is prepared. Hi, I'm Steph, uh, currently studying level two carpentry and I'm in my second year. The course we have one-to-one -one with lecturers um, we have like one lecturer at the most. Uh, the first year we had a couple, but we had one main lecturer, which is obviously different from being at um, high school or secondary school where you have multiple teachers for different subjects. You can specialise in one particular um, subject as well, so you don't have to have a think about like a broad spectrum of them. So obviously we're focused on carpentry here which is going to be the way forward in construction work. So um, I wanted to study animals and then I decided that I wanted to move away from animals and instead go into construction. And so I came here knowing that it's one of the best uh, construction, uh, yeah, the North Kent College has some of the best construction courses going in the southeast. Every student gets his or her own bay and they essentially build a house. They start off with at the very bottom with wall floor plates, they put uh, joists on top, they put a decking on that, they build stud walls, they put a ceiling up and a roof on top of that, they put a hatch in where there's a water tank stand, they second fix, they put in a kitchen, they put in a staircase, they clad it, they put skirts in an architrave around, they hang a door. It, every, everything that you'd find on a real site, they do here to, to real life sizes. We start off our students in level one, where they learn both carpentry and joinery. We learn all the basic woodworking joints, and then we go on to make small projects. They prepare themselves for the hand skills that they need in year two, um, and where they go on to make full size projects. Um, occasionally, they, they will get an apprenticeship, hopefully through the summer holiday between year one and year two, and they'll come back to us in year two as an apprentice. Um, and by the end of year two, most of our students have got employment by that time, either as an apprentice or as a part-timer and still studying full-time. Um, if For those who haven't got the necessary grades, they can even start on the multi-trade course where they learn a bit of carpentry, a bit of painting and decorating, a bit of brickwork, and then get their functional skills, their maths and English up to a certain level, and then they're ready for the full programme, level one carpentry and joinery. Don't be afraid, you, uh, especially if you're a girl, it's fine, you're going to be fine. I'm obviously also a girl and I'm treated no differently than the rest of the class. And yeah, just, just because it's a male, predominant, uh, a predominantly male industry doesn't mean that you can, doesn't stop you from also entering construction if you wish. Occasionally we have some students who progress further and they go on to university and they study towards one of the professions such as an architect or a surveyor and they forge out a really successful career for themselves in that path and occasionally they'll come back in, in years, years, gone, years to come and they even talk to our students about the path they took and what they've achieved. Uh, we work to industry standards, we, we drum that in all the way through and because of that all of our students, virtually all of our students, will be in full-time employment uh, by the time they finish the course. 